you know, I, I was really curious from day one, I think. Um, and then when I started writing apps and stuff, it, it just got cooler and cooler, so. Vanderbilt engineering student Ben Goto loves technology and a challenge. Um, so here are a couple of drawings. <laughs> this is about the extent of my artistic ability, actually. This undergrad used his impressive skills and creativity to turn a popular gadget into a device for fine art with just a few sweeps of a finger. You can select different brushes. Um, there are a bunch of different sort of artistic styles that people have. Um, and I've tried to incorporate a lot of those into, into layers. There's also all, all sorts of color settings, so you can you know, uh, use a full, full range of color with transparency and all that. Ben translates some of the most intricate skills of fine artists, including brush strokes and color palettes, in his iPhone app called Layers. The reason it's called Layers is that it allows your drawing to have multiple layers. Um, and a layer, it's kind of foreign to people that are familiar with traditional art, but a layer means that you can um, have separate drawing surfaces. Like this, for instance, there are three different pieces to this drawing. Um, and so, for instance, the artist drew the, the background of his image as, as one sheet and then added sketches, like he, he sketched out his monster on another sheet and then filled that in with paint on top. And so a lot of it, you know, is, is coming up with an interface that's comfortable to use and it's tactile enough that people can, you know, zoom way in and add detail without it feeling like, frustrating. Ben says his app is being used as far more than a toy. A couple of pieces that were made in my new app are going to be on display at a, uh, in an art gallery somewhere in, in uh, Denver, Colorado. And artists are sharing their layers projects on websites like Flickr and YouTube. So it was really cool to see what people were doing and to see how far they'd gone. It's somewhere where people really appreciate the quality and the time that goes into like thinking things through and making a really nice application. Um, and so, you know, you look at all these like hot babe apps and fart apps and everything that's on the app store and, you know, it's, it's amazing. I, I really don't have a knack for that kind of thing, but I, I love writing software and seeing that people appreciate, you know, the extra 10% that you put in. Ben made layers and some other apps on his own, but said he received inspiration from professors here at Vanderbilt. You know, we'd talk about something new and I'd go back and like redesign 10 different things to make it, it work better. And he says a new class at Vanderbilt's engineering school is helping him and other programmers learn in a hands-on way. I think Vanderbilt, you know, the, the new classes that they're offering, especially this one this fall in uh, smartphone programming, I think that'll be a really huge step in the right direction as far as, you know, keeping up with the times and offering like these new and really exciting classes. What's next for this impressive student? Doing this stuff on the iPhone has really made me a lot more interested in the way that people interact with devices and you know that, that tactile feedback that you get when you use the iPhone and that you know the, the pleasure that makes it you know easy to use and, and enjoyable and um, you know there are entire programs that focus on the psychological aspects of you know how do you write computer software that makes people feel good and so that's kind of the direction that I'm leaning right now.